Browning reactions. There are two types of Browning reactions, which are enzymatic Browning and non-enzymatic Browning. Let's talk about enzymatic Browning. Phenols and the enzymes polyphenol oxidase or phenolase can be found in the cells of the fruits and vegetables, especially apple, potatoes. And when these are exposed to oxygen in the air, for example, through slicing, the oxygen causes a reaction. The polyphenol oxidase, which is the enzyme, changes the phenols into melanin, which causes the brown pigment. Developing color and flavor in coffee, tea, and in some dried fruits such as raisin and figs are examples of beneficial enzymatic browning. Non-beneficial enzymatic browning can be observed in fresh fruits and vegetables. Second type of browning reaction that is non-enzymatic browning which is the process of food turning brown due to a chemical reaction but not catalyzed by an enzyme. Caramelization is one of the browning reactions and also there is non-enzymatic browning where sugar browning occurs when any of the different types of sugars are heated over their melting points. When heated by dry heat, granulated sugar will melt at approximately 160 degrees Celsius. With continued heating, the melted sugar will gradually turn brown to form caramelized sugar. The extreme heat pulls water out of the sugar molecule to form four fuel derivatives that undergoes a series of reactions that are polymerized to brown colored compounds. Mylar reaction that also one of the browning reactions and also it is known as non-enzymatic browning. It is an extremely complex process and is the reaction between reducing sugars and proteins by the impact of heat. The Maillard reaction starts with the reaction of a reducing sugar with an amine, creating glycosyl amine. These substances undergo many chemical reactions and producing melanoidins which are brown color polymers and also it's giving flavor and delicious to the food. 